Okay, let's talk about this because there have been four matches and four clean sheets for the United States of America. Um, how have you guys been so strong defensively in this tournament so far? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just the, the culture that we have built, you know, from the two years that we've been together. I think that, you know, we, we, find, we find defending attractive, which a lot of teams, you know, can be the uh, less attractive side of the game. But I think that we, we really like to defend. We like to keep clean sheets. And then, yeah, hopefully we can, we can keep that um, unity going and um, continue to hopefully get the fifth and the sixth and then the seventh. Kaga, I know you won't say it, I'll say it. I think it's been pretty easy cruising for USMNT through up to this round. You you posted a video at the gym yesterday. Like you you needed to get some work done after a, a World Cup game. Do uh, you want to keep it that way? What's it uh, looking like for for you guys? I imagine you're prepping for something a little bit more difficult next round. Yeah, I mean, I like to. That's I would go to the gym regardless of any type of game I had. I think it's, for me, it's just something to, just to continue to keep doing. But um, yeah, I mean, I really like that. I haven't had much to do. I'll take a game like that any single day if we can, if we can keep a clean sheet. Um, it just shows that, you know, the 10 guys in front of me are really putting in a shift to make sure that, the, that they're defending to the best of their ability and, you know, limiting the chances that the opposition gets. When you're playing with with nothing, with no goals allowed, when you're you just absolutely incredible, four games, not letting one by, what do you do all game back there? You know, are you writing poetry in your head? Are you thinking about your favorite uh, songs? What goes on back there? Uh, I mean, I think it's a lot. It's a little bit different than poetry, uh, <laughs> but um, it's a lot of communication. It's a, it's a lot of communication because for me, I'm in a position where I can see the entire field. So I think it's very important for me to continue to keep my guys, you know, on their toes, ready for any long ball in behind or when they need to step in because I can see every movement, you know, that goes on to the left side or right side of them. So for me to keep them engaged and just to keep them on their toes, I think for me, it's a, it's a big part to, you know, tactically read the game from the back and, you know, notice anything that the opposition can be doing and how we can limit them. So when I'm not making uh, a save or, you know, passing the ball or something like that, I think a big a big um, part of my game is just scanning the field and making sure that my teammates can see what I'm seeing as well. Well, you, you had a big a big uh, save in the 56th minute. There was a cross from Wallace, and those are those moments where you got to be sharp and, and tuned in. Gaga, I'm, I'm curious, you're playing in a back three. Um, you have Craig, Che, and, and Winder in front of you. It seems like you're all in sync, and I've been really impressed with the way that you've been able to build out of the back. It's been very calm. You're good on the ball. There's no stress. What, how have you seen the, the growth of, of this back line and this team in, in terms of building out of, of, of pressure and, and getting into the final third? Yeah, I think the growth has, has been amazing. You know, I think that we're all super comfortable building out of the back now. We understand how and where we might, you know, like the ball, if we like the ball when we're under pressure. So. I think that relationship has only grown and, and it just continues to grow every single game. Like going into a game, I'm so confident that whatever, you know, any team throws at us, what kind of press they throw at us, that we'll be able to adjust, even if it might not be what we have trained for uh, in the in the couple of days before the game. But, you know, I think that having to having to adjust and be able to, you know, deal with that pressure, I think that's what makes championship teams. So we're all super confident in each other and, you know, hopefully we can just continue to to keep the ball out of the back of the net. I'm, I'm curious. It, it seems to me that you guys are now one of the clear favorites. Do you guys, do you guys believe you can hoist this cup at the end of, uh, of the tournament? Is it a game-by-game -game mentality with this group? And have you had a, a chance to talk to any of the English guys on the other side of the bracket where you could end up playing England in the final? you have any of your Chelsea teammates on that side? Yeah, I think that from the beginning, we believed that we could come in here um, and lift, lift the trophy at the end of it. I mean, why else would we be coming here if we didn't, if we didn't believe we could possibly, you know, come away with a victory? Um, but yeah, I think that the belief is there and it's just a game by game mentality now, you know, treating every game as the final. This last game with New Zealand was the final for us and now it's just another final and the next one. So I think if we just continue that, that mindset of, you know, going into every game that we need to win, there's no other option. You know we'll be we'll be in good shape and yeah I have a, I have a few of my boys on the on the England spot so definitely congratulated them on you know getting through to the round of 16 and just wish them good luck for the for the next game. Correct me if I'm wrong. I saw you throughout the first pitch at a White Sox game. Are you a White Sox fan? 
I am now. You are now. <laughs> what? As, okay. a, as a Cubs fan, I'm offended, Gaga. I was going to say, if you could, if you could win this uh, U20 sucks. World Cup tournament, but you have to wear a Cubs jersey, would you do it? But I guess you don't care. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't really watch baseball growing up, but um, yeah, I mean, throwing out the first the first pitch was was awesome. So I'm it would have been better at Wrigley, right Gaga. I'm just saying, <laughs> vibes are better at Wrigley. Facts. If you can't facts. tell, Susanna's a big Chicago. Person. I'm from Downers Grove, Gaga. You're from Addison. I we're, can we're, tell. we're basically neighbors. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. So I, we've got the whole thing. What do you, I have to ask? What do you what do you miss most about Chicago? I, specifically food, because there are things that I cannot get on the East Coast, like like an Italian beef or yeah. a, a Chicago style hot dog. I'm not a huge deep dish pizza girl, but what, is there anything that you, you miss specifically from Chicago? Oh, really? Well, I'll, I'll change my answer then. No, you um, can say deep dish. Uh, no, no shame. <laughs> I would, I would probably, I would probably have to do a deep dish. Like I don't think anything gets much better than that. From who? Which is your favorite? Is it Lumanati, Gino's East? Uh, honestly, there's a place downtown in uh, in Chicago called, I think it's called Pequods. Yes. Oh, Pequods sure is if incredible. I'm, if Pequods. I'm correctly. That is, oh, I, God, I stand that. I stand that uh, that deep dish. It's Good choice. Good. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm curious. Obviously, there's a huge Polish uh, community in, yeah. in Chicago. You, your family's Polish. How do you speak any Polish, Kaga? Yeah, in my in my house, I, I speak Polish. It's not the best. I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm I'm completely fluent. You know, a, a native Polish speaker would would be able to to fully you know hear that I'm not completely Polish. But I can definitely speak Polish with my with my family. Can, can you so, say? Yeah, can you in, say in the, the U.S. Growing up, we spoke Polish. Can you say the U.S. is going to win the World Cup in Polish? Stanov Yednevshane Vigrayom Mundial. I think that. I think yeah. That's yeah. We wouldn't have known if you made it up, <laughs> by the way. Has your style changed considerably since you've yeah, been, you, you been guys, in you London? Guys can just believe me. <laughs> Has my style? Yeah, your clothing. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say so. You know, I have. I haven't been, really been out too much. I've, I've just been focused on you know giving the best impression that I can. But um, I love. I love. I love the lifestyle there. It's it's really amazing, and I've really enjoyed it from the time I've been there. Nice. Uh, well, Gaga, we appreciate the time. Uh, best of luck in the the tournament. The rest of the way, we are. We're always rooting for you. Thank you very much. Thank you guys so much for having me. It was a pleasure.